Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued subby. Thank you so much for all of your support. <coughs> also, thank you so much for all of your well wishes and your healing while I was getting better. Um, I have been quite unwell and I'm really grateful for all of you being so kind and being understanding with uh, rescheduling readings and whatnot. It really does mean a lot. With that said, um, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading or join my mailing list, you can do so on the web link below or the website address below. With that said, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you. What are you removing, releasing or letting go of from your life path this week? What are you removing, releasing or letting go of from your life path this week? And this week you get the four of pentacles, right? So this for me is about letting go of this idea of needing to hoard stuff. You're letting go of this idea that you need to hold on to things. It's almost like, I mean, Scorpio has a tendency to cling anyway, right? It's almost like you're, you're saying to yourself this week, I don't need the paradigm to stay as it is. I can work with change. I can work with evolution. You might be a fixed sign, Scorpio, but you are still a water sign. Water does change better than any other element out there, right? So when I see this, um, it's absolutely beautiful because the four of pentacles means that you're letting go of the past it means that you're letting go of an idea of the way that things are and it also means that you are ready willing and able to phase out what no longer will serves you and for some of you this is going to be in terms of your physical body as well you will feel this physically you will feel yourself shifting as you're shifting the energies in your life you will feel your physical body start to unlock some of the stuff that you've held in there for a lot of you this will be about around the lower back area for some of you it will be around the tummy area um, but for all of you in some way shape or form you will feel a physical release once you really move past this idea of clinging to the past what are you working on now you got the page of swords right so what you're working on now is your letters your communications this is really working on you know your, or when i say your communications i mean your literary communications uh, so letters emails uh, leaflets anything that describes you uh, for some of you this is about working on a website for others of you this is about what do you actually have to say what is your message uh, for some of you as well with the four of pentacles and the page of swords maybe you want to start building up your own mailing list now that might be something really important for you to start doing but whatever you are doing this week in terms of what you're working on now it's about how to get yourself and your message and your viewpoint out there more than ever all right so let's have a look at your key to the week what is your key to the week and this week you get the lover's card right so this is interesting because while you are very academic slash professionally minded this week there is also an element of this where you're saying to yourself right okay once i really release a lot of my own past baggage and stuff i know i'll then be ready for something else coming in for some of you this is about love for some of you this is about a new partner making themselves known it could even be where you're saying to yourself what or who have i been obsessed with in the past what is it in uh, what or who in the past have where have been people been able to and i say this lightly uh, not lightly should i say uh, where have people been able to fool me with their words where have people been able to make me believe certain things and hang on to that to my own detriment the lover's card also represents choice so really you're choosing between your past and your future in some way shape or form this is about you choosing between what you used to say to yourself or about yourself and what you now have to say about yourself going forward this is going to be a very very powerful week for you guys because it's going to have a lot of um it's going to see you making a lot of decisions to move forward uh, and some of them won't necessarily be in subtle ways i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have an amazing week let me know how it shapes up for you in the comments take care and i'll see you very soon for more videos